sense. <laughs> Myself, but I think I'm anyways <sighs> hello guys I just want to start the video by saying thank you for 670 subscribers that's that's like crazy thank you thank you thank you, thank you so much I love every single one of you today's video is a Q&A video mm -hmm. and I asked y'all on my community if you don't um, check it what are, what are you doing Anyways, so I asked my community to write some questions and mm -hmm. y'all came through. This one's like julie.gold257. What is the best Shatter Me book? So I've read the Purple 3, I would say Ignite Me so far is the best. I plan on buying the rest of the series soon. I just haven't gotten around to it. But I think Ignite Me was the best. I love Aaron in that one and we get a lot more um, development. Book reader for life, what is a book that you are so excited to read? At the moment, I would have to say Powerless by, I think, Lauren Roberts. Lauren Roberts, right? Let me check. Yes, Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I don't know if you can see. I just bought this literally yesterday. Oh, and the new um, Onyx Storm. It's underscore, I'm going to say Mia. 716. What rating did you give a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series? Look my Goodreads. <laughs> Speaking of Goodreads, if you don't, you know, follow me on there. What are you doing again? I'll put it in my description. You Go follow me. Go, go add me. I'd love to see what y'all are reading and what y'all think of, like, certain books that I've already read. It's, I just love it. Okay, I think I rated, I rated the first one four stars. And this was, like, last year, I think. But I haven't read the rest of the series because the first one okay the first one's so good but it put me into a book slump like the second book i was reading it and i got like halfway through and i don't know if it was just me or if it was just the pacing of the book but it was so like slow like nothing was happening it was boring she was depressed which is understandable i gave the first one four stars it was really good i it was very good okay next question babe and a book I love any of the Twisted series, really. Like, any of them. My favorite would have to be, like, Twisted Lies. Have you read Part of Your World, the book that comes before yours truly? No, I have not. If you don't know what yours truly is, I think it's by Abby Jimenez. I think. Yeah, by Abby Jimenez. Oh my god, I literally... I think this is, like, one of my first five-star reads of the year. So good. I love, I love the characters. It's miscommunication, but it's done so, so well. Okay, Rose Archer, she came to the room. She came to the room, oh my gosh. Okay, these are book-related questions. Favorite book, if you can't choose top five favorites. Um, okay. Okay, Fourth Wing Twisted Lies. Uh, Yours Truly, Powerless, this is the third Elsie Silver book, and The Right Move. Favorite author, top three, Elsie Silver, Anna Hong and Raina Kim. Okay, next question. Uh, favorite series? So, Twisted series and Shatter Me series. A book you thought you weren't interested in but ended up loving. With you, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And I don't know, it was just like, I couldn't do it. So then we went on like a road trip, and I think it was like 16 hours, and I read the book and driving while we were driving, and literally, I was just like, I don't understand why I put this off for so long. This book's so good. Favorite book to recommend? Fourth Wing, I love recommending that one. I recommended it to my mom, my grandma, my other grandma. I'm trying to get my great grandma to listen to it, but I don't know if she will. What your TBR you've been wanting to read for a while? But really the Cruel Prince series. Oh my god. The Cruel Prince series, I've had that book. Since, like, I first got on booktube, I saw everybody loved it, and I was like, oh my god, let me read it. And I got it for Christmas, and I read the first one. But I also had to give it, I think it was because I read Sarah J. Mass. I read Akatar, like, the first three and a half of them, and then I went to Cruel Prince, and I was like, this is the most slowest book ever. You mean some of y'all like this? It was slow, nothing happens until the end of the book. But, I mean, I'm not hating. Everybody has their opinions. Uh, okay. But, how many books are on your TBR? It's kind of... Okay. 
two read two hundred and fifteen <laughs> two hundred and fifteen books. Favorite non spicy book. Well, hold on. I got that now. Dance of Thieves. I love that book so much. It was so untalked about. I think the one person I saw talk about it was like Haley. Haley Pam. The book that got you into reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. A favorite book talk book. I don't know, because I'm not on TikTok, so I haven't been like, you know? Thousand awesome Boy Kisses? Oh my god, if you want your heart ripped out of your soul and to stare at a wall and question everything that you know, read that book. What's your book you relate to, to your own life? Oh, that's deep. Say, Girl in Pieces and You'd Be Home By Now, only because... It Girl in Pieces touched on things that I, I went through, I guess. Not like I went through physically, but like mentally I was like at her level of thinking and what she was doing and look, I was there. But I haven't gone through any of the stuff that she's done. And I have to give props to anybody who has done that. You're, I'm proud of you. That's all I gotta say. I'm proud of you if you've gone through that. That's so hard. And um, you'd be home by now because I know what it's like to have like someone you love, someone really close to you. like be taken by like drugs and like alcohol and all that so i us say those two um favorite books to reread i'll say the inheritance games favorite book characters main or side kenji oh my god kenji from the shatter me series literally my best friend i need him in real life um robbie from good girls guide to murder i need him in real life um or pip i'll take pip too she she's a savage in that book um Jude, I, actually, she might kill me. Um, where do you like to read the most? On my bed. My bed with my headphones listening to music. Literally, the best. Characters you really want to meet. Kenji, Violet, Juliet. Worst book you've ever read. Ugly Love. I just don't understand the hype of that book. I don't understand the hype of Koho in general. Maybe it's just me. Favorite book boyfriends. If you want a challenge, try to rank them. So Aaron Dante, Jace Bellinger from Dance of Thieves. He's really sweet. Uh, Ryan Shay, Grayson Hawthorne. I haven't read the rest of the series. I don't know who she ends up with, but I swear if she doesn't end up with Grayson, I think I might jump into the world and smack her. Thank you. A book that is very popular, you were very interested in, but after you read it, it was disappointing. I would say it starts with us because I read it and I was just like, it was mid. Okay, personal life related, favorite music artist, SZA. Oh my god. Please, I just want to go to her, one of her concerts so bad. SZA, Taylor Swift, let me give you another one. Let me give you another one. Uh, probably like Olivia Rodrigo. The Neighborhood. I love The Neighborhood, actually. I think that has to go above Taylor Swift. I'm sorry, Swifties. Don't come for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hobbies besides reading. Sleeping, eating, yapping. Um, I'm just playing. <laughs> I would say, like, video games. I like playing Fortnite with my brother, Minecraft with my family. What made you want to be a booktuber? Let's go with the honest answer here. So, I wanted to be a YouTuber since, like, I don't know. Yeah. Me and my brother were making like, you know, we're making YouTube videos for like Minecraft when like Stampy was playing Minecraft. If you don't know who Stampy is, I'm assuming you've never had a childhood and I'm sorry for you. Um, but we were watching those and we were just like, we're going to make those and we're going to beca become YouTubers. And then it, it never happened. <laughs> it never happened, clearly. But then recently I was just like, I want to post YouTube videos. And I asked my dad and I was just like, what should I post about? And he was like, so if you're passionate about and i love books um do you know how to drive if yes how is learning how to drive and how has how is driving in general for you i'm going to learn soon and i'm scared okay i just recently got my permit like a month or two ago driving per se is not scary it's more so the fact that you have to worry about everybody else on the road because if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing you're fine it's just focusing on everybody else that's around you because Nobody knows how to drive. The hardest thing I would say with driving, 
parallel parking. I haven't even tried parking like that. Can't do it. I don't want to do it. I don't live anywhere where I would absolutely need to parallel park. And if I do, I hope they have valet because I'm not doing it. It's your fashion style. But most of the time, I'm just comfortable. Like, sweater, sweatpants. Are you a morning person or a night person? I need a solid... If I wake up at 5, I need a solid hour to wake up. A night person, I just get grumpy. I get more annoyed. Like, way easier. So, I would say neither. Do you have a pet? No. I used to have a pet. And her name was Cece. Or actually, Sierra. She was a little Yorkie. But she passed away, sadly. Do you have any talents? Art, I guess. I draw sometimes. Favorite food, types of food. Pasta. Anything pasta. And I don't think pasta is even good for you. I don't care. Do you like slash hate school? I like school in a sense. I like it when I'm understanding things. When I'm not understanding and then I'm just like, I need to have a mental breakdown for a good two weeks and then I'll be back. Favorite flower, a sunflower. I want a tattoo of one like right behind my ear, but my mom just told me no. <laughs> she told me no. <laughs> Hours later, if you can't tell, it's dark. My camera died. So we have the overhead lighting. Do we like this lighting or this lighting? I feel like this lighting actually looks a little, a little better. We're going with this one. Um, I don't know where we left off on. Favorite movie slash TV show? Favorite movie? Probably like Rapunzel. Tangled. TV show? Probably the Gilmore Girls. I love that. Things you love. Sunsets, reading, sleeping, etc. Um, yeah, I love all those. Um, taking pictures. I love taking pictures. I love playing board games. The favorite school subject? Probably English math when I'm understanding it, but if I'm not understanding it, I want nothing to do with it. And I, I despise U.S. history. I hate it. An embarrassing moment you're okay with sharing. One time, I was walking and I was waving goodbye to this girl who I thought was waving at me. Turns out she wasn't, which I feel like everybody's done this, but she was waving to the girl behind me and I turned around and looked at the girl behind me and I went, oh, oh, and I kept walking and I ran into a pole. Favorite songs? So far on the new Taylor Swift album, My Boy Only Breaks Toys, and So Long London, that one's so good. Um, anything really by The Arctic Monkeys, Chase Atlantic. Um, favorite smell? Lavender. Anything lavender? It's like weird smells. I like the smell of like Sharpies. I feel like everybody does. If you don't, you're lying to yourself. Um, favorite candy? I love anything that's chocolate. If it's not chocolate, I'm not eating it. If it's like sour, I'm not eating it. Gummy, I'm not eating it. <laughs> that sounds so picky. Um, so like mostly just like Reese's, Kit Kats. So that's the end of this Q&A video. If you want to see me do another Q&A video or just have random video ideas that you think I should do, let me know in the comments. Um, I love making these videos and I plan to make more this month, maybe, hopefully, cross my fingers. Um, like, subscribe, share, don't hopefully, by the time I get this video done, I'll have the April and TBR and monthly wrap-up done. So, I love you. Thank you for watching, and thank you for 670 subscribers. Mm -hmm.